Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is September the 26th, 2020. Let's talk boxing, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about the finals at Cruiserweight. Maris Breedis, who in my opinion would be even more successful at heavyweight, is fighting Yonier Dordikos, a combination puncher who hits extremely hard and has stamina. Dordikos is a bit oversized for the division. Understand, both of these fighters are older. Breedis is 35. Dordikos is 34. Right? What I think happens here, given that both guys can throw power shots deliberately from odd angles, given that Breedis is the better fighter inside, but Dordikos has a hell of an uppercut that can make him pay for invading the pocket. I believe this is going to be a fast-paced fight. I believe the odds makers have made a huge mistake. The bet I like is not to pick a side here. It's to pick a distance. The over-under is way too high. Somebody is going to get stopped, in my opinion. The bet I like is the under 10 and a half rounds. Believe it or not, you're getting that at a plus 115. In other words, the casino, in a fight between these two sluggers, look at the KO rates. Look at their recent fights. Look at the way both guys can loop punches. They can fight you orthodox. But these are the guys who have trick punches. Also, look at how both guys because they're both KO artists. Look at how both guys can drop their hands. I think one of these guys is going to win this by KO on betting distance. But understand the risk involved. If this fight makes it past the midway point of the 11th round, you lose it all. Right? When you bet distance, you want someone to get hurt. You want someone to get stopped. You don't want a great fight that actually goes past your end point. I think the casino here has given gamblers an end point that's too high. In a fight with power punchers who know how to set it up, who have a variety of punches, right? Dordikos has an excellent jab. Dordikos throws combinations. The problem with throwing combinations is it leaves you open. Maris Breedis is, in my opinion, one of the best fighters in the entire sport pound for pound. He's like a bigger version of Vasily Lomachenko. He can fight many styles. Somebody here is going to crack the other person's code. The problem with older fighters is they think they know it all and they'll start to drop their hands when they think they have an upper hand simply to conserve energy. Someone's going to get caught here. I believe it's going to be dramatic. I like the under 10 and a half rounds that gets you to the halfway point of the 11th round at the plus 115. In other words, this is an odds play. In a fight where you're getting a plus 150 on Dordicos as an underdog and a minus 189 on Maris Breedis. In other words, the casino has drained the odds out of the fight. I'm just taking the bucket that's available, right? I believe the casino's made a mistake here. The over-under's too high. I like the plus 115 on the under 10 and a half rounds. 
that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Should be a whale of a fight. I wouldn't bet that much on it because it's that highly competitive. But understand, in a highly competitive fight, where there's one option that's mispriced, in my opinion, you have to take it. And for me here, it's the under 10.5 rounds at greater than even money odds. That's the way I'm playing it. Let me hear how you're playing it in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.